some guardrails would be good. I think that, you know, as it feels like it's the wild, wild west, I think there's some, what, what could be unfortunate is there's going to be a, a lot of people who will be using kids and that's not new, <laughs> you know, like I think there was a lot of stuff that happened behind the scenes for years. Now, some of it is more over the table. Um, I just think that, uh, yeah, you know, I think we are kind of fi figuring stuff out as it's happening and what's going to be. And the thing I go back to, look, M Malik probably doesn't know this, but like a long time ago when he was uh, going into his senior year, I worked on this book, the QB where I was around the elite 11 guys all that time. So I remember being in the room and I remember listening to Jordan Palmer go to bat for Malik and all yeah. this stuff. And, but we knew who like Malik, you're the same age as Kyle Allen, right? Same yeah. year. Kyle was the five star from somewhere in Arizona, you know, and you know, I, I know Malik's class or was uh, Brandon Harris, Hackenberg, and, Max Brown. Yeah. Um, Harry golf was even in there. Yeah. So, okay. So that's your, yeah. All right. So, but um, in, in that group, like Max Brown was a five star Hackenberg was a five star and they know it. You remember it. But like, think about how much pressure there is going to be now where you're talking about Nico going to Tennessee and he's making, you know, $8 million. You know, we don't even know how much some of these other kids, maybe it's inflated what, what has been reported on what some kids are made. But that's all people know is this kid's making $8 million. How much more pressure is going to be on these kids? And they're still kids when we're talking about, you know, still in high school. Um you know, it's, it's way different, right. Compared to that. And I think that is going to be hard because that rate on the five stars, you know, and he just mentioned a couple of them he, you mentioned because, because golf was like a four star. I mean, yeah, golf you know, was like kind of underrated at the time. Yeah. So that, that group of, I'm trying to remember it was like, so if it was Hackenberg, Max Brown, and then there was the guy who went to Michigan. Shane blank, Morris. Shane Morris. Up, thank you. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. Right. And so, but the two guys were the five stars. And if you look back at like the last 10 years and I went back and, you know, kind of looked at it, uh, there's of the five star quarterbacks, they, they kind of live up to what the, the hype is maybe 30% of the time. And now you're talking about that's before all this other stuff. And I'm not saying they shouldn't, you know, kids shouldn't be um, getting taken care of because everybody else is making money. Uh, it's just now, man, that's uh, the pressure and the expectations and all that. It's just a hard dynamic to, to, to sort through. But I do yeah, think you can get lucky and get a Justin Fields and Trevor Lawrence, number one in high school. But that, that year was just, they lived up to it to that, that point, yeah. you know, but outside of that lucky year, it's kind of hard to even predict with all the other factors included. Yeah. It's just so much, so much of a spotlight. You got other factors, as you know, as a quarterback that, are out of your control, you know, and I just think that it's going to be really interesting to see how this all plays out. Um, you know, Nick Saban's going to be fine. Kirby Smart's going to be <laughs> fine. Be you know, Kirby Smart just got like a hundred ten million dollar contract. You right. know, so, um, the thing that was cool, and I like, and I don't know if Mal if Malik crossed paths with the, the name I'm about to mention, but like, there's a kid who was always around the Elite Eleven guys, and now he's a backup quarterback. I used to say named Chase Griffin. Oh, Chase. Chase is phenomenal, right? He's just a great. A, he's a great player, though. Like he's not bad. Yeah, he, he was a great high school player in Texas, right? He's five eleven yeah. ish, um, but super he smart, really and you know he's already graduated from UCLA. And he, so he's out here, like, and and um, on the eve of NIL, probably like two weeks before I was about to go in, um, he came over to our house for dinner, and then I drove him back. And in the car ride back, he started talking about NIL as it relates to a lot of the female athletes at his school, the women gymnasts at UCLA, got a couple of maybe soccer. And he was talking about how much money they were going to be able to make now and what they could do with it. And I just thought it was so cool because that's something I'm not saying that nobody thinks about. That's something that most of us who are in the like the big mainstream, you know, aspect of college football or college basketball probably don't probably neglect talking about. And right. so for that, and that's a lot of athletes, right? That's a lot of not, you know, like, look, I mean, I don't know if you overlapped with, and I'm blanking on the, on the woman who whose brother played basketball or brother played football at Wisconsin. She won, she had the game winning shot in, um, in the NCAA, you know, Arike. Arike, that? yeah, that's my, yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Killing it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and look, hopefully, you know, if that happened now, 
she'd be making a fortune coming off that, you know? And so I think those are, those are things that, you know, we got to make sure we keep in mind when, you know, the famous football coaches sound off about all the things, how bad this stuff is.